Hello, it's Facebook Live time. So I hope you guys all had a great week. I had a pretty good week. My son came home from a trip that he was on, so that was really cool. He'd been gone for like 12 days and I missed him. Yeah, so, so throw me a hello or a thumbs up or something if you can see me. Um, I see Charlene is here. So hello, Charlene. Um, I hope it's not too hot and humid where you are in Florida. That's just, humidity just doesn't work for me. In fact, it freezes out my hair is the main problem why I don't like it, but you know, other than that, it's fine. Hello, Teresa and Donna and Julie. Hope you guys are all having a great day. I am having a fabulous day. Um, I got a lot of uh, good work done this morning for my online class that I'll be releasing on Monday. Let's see. No, today's the... Yeah, I think it's Monday. It's going to be with the Sailing Home Bundle. So yeah, my next online class is the Sailing Home Bundle. And so I did a lot of work on that. I had to film a bunch of videos. I have nine, eight cards and a bonus card. So I had nine videos to shoot today. So I did get, well, not just today. I think I shot four today, five yesterday. And now I got to edit them all, upload them all. And I've got something on my fingernail that's bugging me. So yeah, I've been really busy today. And then about one o'clock, I started preparing for Facebook Live. So hopefully my projects are good. It took me... um. I guess I worked on them for about three hours, so hopefully they're good. Um, other than that, yeah, it's been a wonderful week. My daughter is getting closer to leaving for college. Sad face. My son came home. That was very exciting. And I was able to go visit my mom a couple times. Um, last week, I guess I think I told you guys that. Last Wednesday, I went up there to take her to a dentist appointment, and then I was able to see her again on Sunday when my son came home. Um, so yeah, and we've been having crazy, crazy rainstorms around here in the evenings. Uh, I think it's finally done, but last week it was almost like every night and it was like, you know, like crazy lightning and then it just dumps tons of rain on you and then it leaves. So yeah, that's been kind of crazy. So anyways, I'm sure you guys are well aware of the July special, the bonus days. Yay, bonus days. So it's kind of like Kohl's cash, you know, you spend $50, you get a $5 coupon. And you can spend the coupons in August, anytime from August 1st to August 31st. Um, there's no limit to how many coupons you can earn or redeem on any given order. So um, I've just been going nuts ordering supplies and things for stuff that I have coming up this month so that I will have, you know, $5 coupon codes galore to spend next month, which is really cool. So... Um, I'm excited about that. We also have the extra extra promotion. If any of you have been thinking about becoming a demonstrator, now's a good time to do it. You get an extra $30 of merchandise in your kit, which means you get $155 in merchandise. And then the month following you signing up, whether you sign up in July or August, the following month, you'll be emailed a coupon code for $10. So if you're actually ordering items, <clears throat> excuse me, Placing orders now, whether you're a demonstrator or not, doesn't make any difference. You'll get coupon codes for your $50 orders. Then if you sign up to be a demonstrator, you'll get another $10 coupon code. So, I mean, you could end up with a lot of free money to spend in August. And, of course, if you're a demonstrator, you know what happens in August? Holiday catalog pre-order. Yeah. So, those girls that were on the incentive trip last week got their holiday catalogs in their hot little hands. I was unable to go on the incentive trip. I cashed out. So I did get a nice little cash stipend. Oh, hello, Kathy. I hope you're feeling better with your knee thing. Mm. That just makes me, makes my tummy do some flip-flops when I think about that. Anyway, so if you cash out, like I earned enough points to buy the trip, but I wasn't able to go, so I cashed out. And so I did get a nice little stipend of cash um, in my bank account last week, which was really nice. And then I will receive all of the pillow gifts. So all the gifts they got every night, I think they got a backpack, they got a vest, they got a bracelet, they got all kinds of fun new products. I will be getting all that stuff hopefully soon. And so I can hardly wait to share that with you guys. So as a demonstrator, we get to pre-order from the holiday catalog starting August 1st. And we can order anything we want from the entire catalog. So I'm really looking forward to that. And if you join as a demonstrator in August, you can add holiday catalog products to your 
starter kit. So keep that in mind. If you're interested in that at all, send me an email, barb at barbstamps.com. I'm happy to answer any questions that you may have about that. And yeah, also uh, next month in August, we are going to have the autumn, or get a splash of autumn color, which is going to be our kind of our paper pumpkin kit. Here's a little sneak peek at what uh, the colors and stuff might be. It's going to be six little gift bags and the tags and stuff to decorate them. Oh, you don't like making gift bags? I don't really either. I like making cards. So guess what? Yay! We have a little card pack that Stampin' Up! is offering to Paper Pumpkin subscribers. And you can add this add-on bundle to any order in August, beginning August 1st, while well, supplies last, of course. Um, and then it coordinates with the goodies that come in your Paper Pumpkin kit. So it's 10 bucks, super inexpensive. It's got 24 note sized, note card sized card bases, which are three and a half by five, which is a perfect size. And they have coordinating envelopes. So I'll throw that up there again. So you can see we have two different kinds of styles of cards and then they all have the same coordinating envelope. And it's $10 available to Paper Pumpkin subscribers, August 1st while supplies last. So I'm pretty excited about that. Also, we have to draw for the cards that I made last week. So I'll just give you a little peekaboo at the cards that I made. So here is one of them using, hmm, all of a sudden I can't even remember what that die set is. Um, it might come to me, it might not. I am, I'm getting older. I have a birthday on Sunday. <gasps> I'm going to be 53 years old on Sunday. So uh, yay me. And I am losing it a little up here, let me tell you. Okay, here's another one I made. This is a little dinosaur card. So this was fun and cute. This is another one that I did last week. And then I did this one with the pigment sprinkles and uh, sweet silhouettes, I think, is the die set that has this fun tree in it. And then the silhouette stamp set with the uh, sentiment there. And this is also in the die set. So those three cards and the winner is Joni Biggs. And Joni does happen to be a customer of mine. So Joni, I do have your address, but it would be a little bit faster for me if you could message me and let me know what your address is. That way I don't have to go looking through my customer manager to find it. So congratulations to Joni. You will get these cards in the mail. And that's exciting. All right, ladies, I think I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera over and we'll do a little bit of stamping with what I've come up with today in my quick little session of stamping. Okay, and I was going nutso here a little bit ago. I looked at my phone and it had like 21% battery and I was like, oh my gosh, 21% battery is not enough to do a Facebook Live. So I quickly plugged it in. I've got it up to about, I don't know, 55%. So we're gonna hope that it lasts. So I may just kind of go through this a little bit more quickly than I normally do because I don't want my camera to die on me. Okay. I did want to talk a little bit about this experience creativity brochure. For those of you that are seasoned stampers or that you're brand new stampers, this is a perfect little brochure that we have come out with to assist new stampers. But you seasoned stampers can get stuff out of it too because that's really cool. So it's a little, oh, what is this, 10, 15 pages? And it just kind of showcases a few things that we currently have in our regular catalog, but there are also a few things in here that are not in our regular catalog. Uh, this stamp set is, it coordinates with one of our new uh, tag punches. This stamp set is not in our regular catalog. This matches the Magnolia Lane stamp set, obviously. It's a companion set to that, so that's really fun. And it is, let's see, la 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 la. I know it's got to be on here somewhere. The Magnolia Blooms stamp set is, oh, it's $14. I knew the price had to be on here somewhere. Here's another set that is not in the big catalog. This one's called Celebrate with Cake. Another super cute stamp set. This one is $16. You can see this is a note card size. It just makes the perfect little cute card. And then we also have this little stamp set here called Hoot Hoot Ray. Isn't that adorable? That is also not in our large, our big catalog. So if anyone's interested in this, I, I think I'm going to post it on my blog. So you can check it out um, if you want to order anything out of it because there are some super cute um, stamp sets in there. Okay, it's time to get busy here. I'll get my glasses on and then I'm going to bring in... This is my latest bundle of products that I have purchased. It's called the Band Together Bundle and it comes with the Band Together stamp set and the detailed bands die set. And the stamp set has a lot of fun sentiments and I love when they do these two font sentiments where you have like the kind of cursive and then like the, I guess maybe Arial or Times Roman or something like that. I like those two different uh, styles of fonts. Then we have these little companion sentiments that go with these. And we have this large flower 
and this flower top here actually has a coordinating die as does this little leaf set so here are the dies there's nine of them and i've die cut them all for you so you can see what they are easily so you get this band here and it can be a two-piece band where you can have this outer piece of all that detail and then this little inner piece here and you can have that be a different color like i've done here uh, this large piece here and then we also have a little oval that i have stuck over the top of this large piece here look at the detail on those they are so pretty then we have this little guy here which i just think he's so cute and tiny i love it flipping it over there's that same oval um, added to this label here same oval cut out of this label here so you can do a few different things with the labels and the bands in this and then you can see here's the flower along with the leaf and then we do have two other little fun detailed dies this kind of little leaf stem spriggy thing and then this kind of detailed leaf here so it's a super pretty die set i'm really really liking it and i was like like i said i've been working with it for three hours so hopefully you like what i came up with so let me get um, some paper out here so we can start on our first project all right so there's some papers we got to get some stamps oh what else what else what else oh i need my stamparatus i'm gonna have to do something because i set my stamparatus up for a different project so i'm gonna see if i can actually like use my stamparatus plate as a stamp because I forgot that I needed to do this. So let me grab a scrap paper and then I'll go ahead and show you the measurements of my pieces here. So here's that little tag. That is one of the dies in the set. And then we have our card base here. This is a five and a half by seven and then it's scored at two and three quarters. That's not right. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's wrong. Seven five and a half. Oh my gosh, was I right? What do you know about that? I was right. My dad used to tell us that he was never wrong except the one time he was right and thought he was wrong. So that's what just happened to me right there. Okay, so five and a half by seven scored at two and three quarters. There we go. Then I have a four by five and a quarter inch panel that's going to go on the inside here. I guess I might as well just throw that on, right? Well, let's see. I still haven't gotten a new snail. I keep forgetting to order it. And, um, this one keeps giving me fits. Okay, let me get that in there. About like so. There we have it. Okay, and then I have a piece of purple posy, and this measures two and a half by I think five and a quarter. Nope, five and three eighths. Five and a quarter. Again, I was right the first time. Oh, there goes my snail again. Now, what do we got over here? We got another one. I'm telling you. I may just have to use my liquid adhesive, which is actually my favorite anyway. But I have these little snails sitting here, and I thought, yeah, maybe we'll go ahead and use some snail. All right, so we're going to put that on there. This is a Purple Posy. And you may know that our Purple Posy ink pad is still unavailable, unfortunately. We are hoping to get that in um, maybe September. They had another batch come in that was not good. And so, yeah, they're not going to put it out for us to sell or use if it's not a quality product so unfortunately we're just gonna have to wait all right so then i have this little guy here this measures uh, five by two and a quarter and this little piece is going to go on there and it measures two by three and a quarter and that's going to go on this little panel right here mm, get it on there sort of even i guess okay and I kind of screwed up. This is supposed to tuck under here. But I think I might have gotten lucky in that um, my snail did not stick very well in that spot. Or I was able to lift up. Where is my glue? Does anybody see my liquid glue? Ugh. Every time you're in a hurry, you can't find stuff. We're just going to open up a new one because I ain't got no time for this. My battery might die on my phone. Okay, so I'm going to tuck this under here about like that. Okay, so this is going to flip over like so. And then this little guy is going to go right there. Oh, I should tell you what that is. That's one of our new designer series papers. This little six pack or six by six pack here. This is the new in colors. 
and um, I'll show you the different patterns. So we have the kind of scripty pattern here. This, I don't know what you'd call that, maybe a Mediterranean type pattern. And then we have this little uh, triangle or diamond dotted pattern. And then we have the gingham. And this is all of our, uh, let's see, 2019 to 2021 in colors. And we have these packages in the brights, the subtles, the neutrals, the regals, the 2019, 2021 in colors, and the 2018, 2020 in colors. So I just went ahead and cropped this from with that fun tag. That's a brand new glue for you. They tend to squirt out a little more than you may want at any given time. So keep that in mind. Okay. Ugh, scoot it over there. Why are you giving me such fits? Probably because I'm trying to hurry so my battery doesn't die. I really gotta wipe that glue off. I have a piece of paper here in the trash I can wipe it on. Okay, so here is the main gist of our card. Now we need to do a little stamping. Oh, you know what? I forgot to talk about my um, online class coming up. Okay, it's getting released on the 22nd. And um, I'm going to be using the Sailing Home stamp set, the Smooth Sailing Dies. Here they are. Here's my little cheater sheet for that. Uh, the High Seas 3D embossing folder. And, of course, the Come Sail Away designer series paper. These are 6x6 six six pieces. Uh, the pieces are actually 12x12. 12 12. I just like to show the smaller pieces. It's easier, I think, for you guys to see uh, what they look like. Uh, we're also going to be using the Sahara Sand Knight of Navy Baker's Twine and the Sail Away Trinkets. Okay, so those are the most the main things that I'm going to be using in the class. There's nine cards. They will each have their own video along with an instruction, uh, emailed instructions. Um, everything will be emailed to you. Okay, here are some samples. These are not included in the class. Okay, not included. The uh, cards that I do for the class, I don't show anywhere else. So. I just thought I'd show you a few cards uh, with this fun stamp set and die set. And then you could possibly, you know, make these in addition to the ones that I show in the class. If you want to purchase the class, it's going to be 20 bucks. And again, it's online only, which means I will email um, the information to you. And then you can uh, do it at your own leisure. Uh, we have the cutting directions, all that good stuff in there for you. Okay, so back to the card at hand. We have a layer of white, and this measures two and three eighths, five and one eighth. Okay, so now we're going to see if we can stamp with the Stamparatus, not on the Stamparatus. All right, so I am going to use my Memento. And we're going to get that all inky. And we're going to see if we can stamp with this. All right, I want it over to the side, kind of. All right, here we go. I think I can see why you couldn't stamp with the Stamparatus plate. What's the difference between that and the clear block, honestly? Ta-da! Perfect. Okay. So I'm going to put that back up on my Stamparatus. I'm going to close my ink so I don't get my fingers in it. And while that is drying just a bit... I am going to bring in a couple of die cut pieces. So I've got three of these little guys. This is one of the dies included in the uh, detailed bands set. They're super cute. And then I have a little oval that I cropped out with that oval and it says celebrate the best day ever. So I am going to and I think I'm going to try my snail again because I want to add these little guys to the back. So we'll we'll see how this is going to go. Okay, so a little bit peek out right there. Don't want that. Let's chop it right off. And then I want another one coming it down off the bottom here. I'm going to snip that off too, just in case. And then this little guy, we're going to have come out the top. So how many of you are, just from the little bit that I've shown you, are digging this bundle? Give me a little uh, smiley face if this is something that uh, you would be, you would see yourself purchasing. Okay, so let's see if we get any thumbs up about that. And I'm going to put this on with some dimensionals because I myself am digging this. 
I think these detailed band dies are really pretty. And then I love this large flower here. Oh, I see one heart. Just one of you likes this? <laughs> Come on, you guys. It's amazing. Hopefully you'll, you'll change your mind after I get done with all my projects here. Okay, so that's what we have so far. The inside for writing. And now, and I'm not going to color this whole thing, but I'll color a little bit of it just to kind of show you what I would do with it. And then I already have a piece that's done that I'll bring in when I'm all finished. So I've got my... What are these? Soft Sea Foam, my Purple Posy. So if you, uh, we can't get the Purple Posy ink pad right now, but we can sure use some Stampin' Blends and that's what I'm gonna do. So I am going to uh, color in all of the flowers. I guess there's only two, so it's not all of them. What I really meant was all the petals. This is my light. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the entire flower, both of them but I don't think that I will just because like I said, I'm afraid my, afraid my battery's gonna die. So we would do all the petals in the light. And I really think this is an interesting color. It's almost like a, like a lighter magenta or something, I don't know. Then I would come in with my dark and highlight uh, these little things here that are in the flower and then I was also like doing some of these plain petals that don't have the little uh, lines in them in the dark also okay so just randomly choose some of these okay then I have my light so saffron and the so saffron is a new color to our Stampin' Blends collection with this new catalog and I'm super excited about it because it's just a nice softer yellow. The other ones that we have are kind of bright and this just is a little more muted I think and I really like it. So that was the light. This is the dark. So we would do that and then I would grab my soft sea foam light and we would color the leaf. Well, actually, we'll color all of the leaves and, of course, the stems. Okay, so that was my light. Here's my dark. And I would come in kind of highlighting the detail that, you know, Stampin' Up! already has on the stamp. Just to add a little more, you know, dimension to that. And when you do all that, then you get this when it's all done. So I will finish that up later and make another card with it. Okay, so then that is going to go on to our card here. I'm just going to try to lightly throw some on there. And here we go. So what do you guys think of my color combination? The purple posy and the soft sea foam? Is that working for you? Or nah, as my kids would say. Nah. All right. And so that is what we have so far. And I did want to, I wasn't sure if I wanted to add some rhinestones or some of these purple posy gems. But I think I'm going to go with rhinestones just because, I don't know, I really like rhinestones a lot even. And... Oops, so I've got my take your pick tool here because that makes it super easy to get some of these rhinestones off of the sheet. And maybe we'll go with like three, just like that, just to add a little bit of bling because I'm a big bling fan. All right, so there is our first card. So go ahead and give me a thumbs up or leave a comment if it's something that you like. I hope you guys like it. I thought it was pretty, 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 pretty. Ah, how do you like that? when I was putting it together today, so I hope you guys do too. All right, so let me clean up a little bit while you take a gander at my pretty card. And then I'll get the supplies out for our next card. Okay, I'm the ruler and the snails are, eh. All right, so I'm gonna move this out of the way now. And I'm gonna bring in another card. This one is going to use some Sahara sand and another one of those fun little bands. 
And that is crumb cake. And then we have a piece of Bermuda Bay. And I'm gonna need to clean my Stamparatus because I need to use this plate again. So I'm gonna bring in my super dirty, well not dirty, super stained, um, what do you even call this thing? My stamp, uh, ugh, chamois, losing my mind. And remember you guys to share the video because uh, when you share the video, I enter you in the drawing for the cards that I make. I'm going to use some of our watercolor pencils, but I'm not going to watercolor with them. We've got some embossing items here. We've got some of the Sahara Sand ribbon that goes with the Magnolia ribbon set. And then I've got my Sahara Sand ink. So the first thing I'm going to do is fold this. Now this is eight and a half by five and a half piece of cardstock Sahara Sand. Okay. Bring in a scrap paper because I'm going to do a little bit, kind of some stamping off, just a tad. So I'm going to ink up my large image here. Oops, it might be a little wet. Let me kind of tap it onto my hand here just to get some of that excess moisture off. And I'm going to ink that up. Oh, can you guys even see what I'm doing? Okay, here we go. Inking that up. And then I'm going to stamp it right here in the middle. Okay. There should be a little share button right below what you're viewing, and I would be super happy if you guys would be willing to share it, because that really helps the viewership go up when you're sharing it and other people can watch me. Okay, so I'm gonna stamp another one down here at the bottom. And then we're gonna stamp another one up at the top. Oops. Put a little bit more on that. Oh, I just got it on my finger. Ugh. I hate when that happens. Okay, and then just a tiny bit over here at the top. Okay. I'm going to bring in my chamois once again to clean this off. This actually is quite handy now that I'm thinking about it using my stamparatus like this. I may do this in the future, not on accident. You might do it on purpose. Okay. So, watercolor pencils, you do, you can use them with water or without, and I'm going to be using them without today, so I'm going to be using my, uh, both sets. This is our, uh, set number two, and it has these colors. We've got the cherry, whoops, cherry cobbler, flirty flamingo, cajun, crushed curry, granny apple green, garden green, coastal cabana, balmy bloom, night of navy, and gorgeous grape, and then this set here has a lot more of our, um, other colors with white, black, gray, Espresso, Melon Mambo, Rich Raspberry, Pacific Point, Bermuda Bay, Real Red Coral, Pumpkin Pie, Daffodil Delight, and Old Olive. So with these two sets, there are uh, we've got a pretty good selection of colors here. And so what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to color the flowers white. Okay, so it's just going to be pretty quick. I mean, I'm basically just scribbling here as I'm just uh, going around in a circular motion with my white watercolor pencil here onto this Sahara sand paper. And so it doesn't really take that long at all. See how quickly that's going? And I think the white actually pops pretty well on this color. Again, just kind of swirling it around, circular motion here. I mean, I'm not being super careful either. I guess if I was using a different color, like when I go in with the uh, Coastal Cabana, I'll have to be a little more careful, but this just goes really quickly. Okay. So there we have that. I'll move it up just a little bit so you guys can see. So that's kind of fun. And then I have my Coastal Cabana and I'm gonna color my, whoops, I'm just having some Butterfinger problems today. My stems and I'm gonna go pretty light with it. And these little leafy petals right here. And then we can come down, finish out our stems. And then I'm gonna kind of go a little bit darker on this uh, detailed line that the stamp gives us. Okay. 
and then I'll just go light around it. Okay. Same with this one, we'll kind of go dark on the line that the image gives us. And then we'll go light around the rest of the leaf. I saw Carol was watching me. Are you in Rapid City, Carol? Carol's son is a swimmer. And he and my daughter are pretty good friends. And they used to swim together. She is no longer swimming. So sad face. But good luck to Tom this weekend. It's our state swim meet held over in Rapid City because our pool that we normally use is not holding water over in Gillette, Wyoming. So we had to find a different pool. So that's what I have so far, just the Coastal Cabana and then the white. I'm gonna close my ink pad so I don't get my fingers in it and we're done with that. And then like I said, I have this little piece here that we're gonna kind of put on the front along with this. So I'm gonna stamp my sentiments. I'm gonna do some embossing here. So I would use my embossing buddy if I remember, which yay, I did, so that's good. And then I'm gonna ink up my sentiment here, which says, you are amazing. And my theory with Versamark, if you haven't seen me before, is I add Versamark, and when I think I have enough, I add a little bit more. All right, so we are gonna to try to center this as best we can on the paper. And then we're gonna cover it with some white embossing powder. And hopefully, since we used our embossing buddy, that will keep it from getting everywhere else. So then what I would do is I would take it over to my heat tool and I would heat it up and then I would get this. Ta-da! So pretend like I just did that and you guys were watching, even though I didn't really. Okay, so this we're gonna flag the ends just slightly. So I'm gonna take my snips. Oh, I'll tell you what size this is here in just a second. I think it's like one and an eighth by three and a half, if I remember right. So I'm just snipping in just a tiny little bit and then on each edge there like that. And then this piece is gonna go over it. So I'm gonna add some glue to this very sparingly. I did see that this part was gonna to touch. So I'm gonna put a little glue there a little glue there, where else is it gonna to touch? Okay, it's gonna to touch like right down here. And that should do. Okay, and then I'm just gonna come over this and try to center it. Got some excess glue there, but I'll just pick that up with my finger. Okay, so there we have it. So then I'm going to bring in a few little pieces of this ribbon here. And then I'm going to cut them in half again. That needs to be a little nicer. Whoops. There. Okay. And then these little pieces are going to come off of the tag here. And I'm just going to use some scotch tape to tag those down. And then I'm going to take my other two pieces and I'm actually kind of copying a card that's in the catalog. So some of you may have seen a card similar to this if you've uh, taken a look in the catalog. I think it's on page 121. Uh, that's where this bundle is located. And there's a card that's very similar to this. I did change it up just a tad, not very much at all. I think I changed the orientation of it. And... Uh, a few other things, but you guys can check it out. And then I'm just gonna add this with some dimensionals. I'm using up my edges here, because you never wanna throw those away, because they are great pieces. And a lot of these real skinny ones you can like use in really small areas if you don't have our minis, which are really cool too. Oh, come on, get off there. There we go. And then I'm just gonna set that about like so. Oops, that is not centered, hello. We're gonna try that again. And there, now that's centered. 
and that is done. So it was a pretty simple card. The coloring certainly didn't take much time at all. And there you go. So I hope you guys liked that one. I'll leave it there while I clean up my mess. You know me and my mess. I can't stand having a mess. And I'll get my supplies for my last project. All right, I'm going to move that up here. So we are going to be using our little copper dotted treat bags for this project. So I have a bag here. Oops, got some mess going on. Not a fan. And so we're going to use one of our treat bags to make a fun little card. And then I have these two layers. They're going to be like the card that's going to go inside the bag. So you would have to hand this to somebody, but I was going to put a gift card on it. And then we'll fold it over and this will be the card that would come out of the bag. Okay. So I have that really large detailed die and I cut it out of copper foil sheets. So look how pretty that is because these are copper. So I thought what better color to use on here than a copper detailed die. So that's why I got that. Then we are going to stamp some flowers and some leaves and we're going to use the Stamparatus again. Who would have thought? get my pieces out that I need. Bring in the Stamparatus again. So now the Stamparatus is actually set up for um, this. So this afternoon I put a piece of scrap cardstock in there. I put my leaf image and my flower image in and um, die or stamped them. Then I took them to my big shot and actually die cut them very precisely so that I could easily just plop these little blanks in there and ink them up super, super easily. Okay. So and I have got some, maybe we'll do it this way. There we go. I've got some ink spots here and I really do enjoy using ink spots on my Stamparatus. I was very lucky in that my paper pumpkin kit just showed up this morning and it had a peacock, pretty peacock ink spot in it. So that's the color that I'm using. So we've got the pretty peacock and the old olive. And we get a new um, stampin' spot every month in our paper pumpkin kits. So it's kind of cool and they work really great with the Stamparatus. So we'll just give ourselves a few images here. So we have one leaf and one flower and we're going to do that two more times. So we get the flower blank in there and the leaf blank. And this is a really fast way. If you're doing more than one of something, I highly recommend doing it like this. Do one really precisely, die cut it really nicely and then the rest of them will just be perfect. Okay. And if they're not, you can just restamp them because it's a Stamparatus. So yay. Okay. Oh, like that. See, let's redo that. Much better. All right. So now we can get out our leaf and our flower. Okay. Hello, Royalia. I hope you're having a wonderful evening. And we're going to add one of those. Where's my other leaf? Here we go. Add that. Press them into place. Ink up the leaf. Ink up the flower. Okay. And then we will have our set of three that I was looking for. I wonder if that stamp is supposed to be like that, if that's maybe what's going on here and I'm just not realizing it. All right, I think it is. Okay, so we're done now. We can get all of those out. We can clean the Stamparatus. If I can find my chamois. What the heck, chamois, where are you? Oh. I was so busy cleaning that I actually put it away. I put my little ink spots away too so that I don't get my hands all over them. You guys know how I am. Messy, messy, messy. All right, so we're going to clean that off. Okay, I'm going to ask the same question I asked a little while ago. Are any of you getting interested in this stamp set the more projects that I'm showing you? 
give me a thumbs up or a happy face or whatever whatever Facebook has for you. And let me know if you are excited about this bundle. Because I sure am. Okay. So we need to uh, roll over the top first so that we can actually like close the bag. So I'm going to just fold it over. There it is. So where would I want this? I'm going to have this about right here. So I'm going to go ahead and glue it down. I see some thumbs up. Yay. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am really digging it. The more I used it and I literally just got it uh, like two days ago. Um, and I was super excited to get it because I was really one of these bands. The dyes is what I was really sold on. But the more I'm using this flower image, the more I'm really, really, really liking it. Okay. So now we have some flower pieces that we need to add. So we're going to add one up here. And I think I'm going to tuck it under or do I want to put it over? I guess I'll go over. I was going to tuck it under, but I'm changing my mind because I'm a woman and I can do that. And we're going to tuck a leaf under here that pressed on. And then this, we're going to add a flower there. We're going to go under though with this one. And we're going to do it about like so. And we're going to get a leaf under there. Like so. This little guy I'm going to pop up with some dimensionals. And you guys know you can order this in my store, right? I'm sure that you know that. And I've got free gifts with purchase going on right now, of course. I'm giving away a hundred hand stamped cards if you order in my store and use my host code. So keep that in mind if you're looking for some free cards. All right, we've got that. And then I also have two of these leaves, the detailed leaves that I cut, and I'm gonna kind of throw them uh, behind here too. So I'm going to add a little bit of glue down there. We're just going to kind of tuck it under. And this little guy, same thing. This one's going to go over here though, I think. Is that where I want it? I think I want it underneath this. Okay. Got a little glue on my finger I need to rub off. Okay, so there's that. We're going to go ahead and glue this together. This is going to be, like I said, the piece that goes inside that I can write my little note on and glue my gift card to it. And I actually have another flower and another leaf here that I cut out earlier, and I think I might add them to this inside piece. But I'm going to have them hang off the edge and then I'm going to cut them off. Okay, we're going to tuck that under. Okay. And then we're just going to cut around the edge here. Did I get that? Yes, I did. You know me and my old eyeballs. Okay. So that's going to be our inside piece that I'm going to attach my gift card to. Okay, we've got that. Next, we have a fun little clip that we could clip this closed with. These are our fun little library clips, and I cannot get a hold of this guy to save my life. There we go. And then I thought that we've got this copper trim, and so I thought, well, we've got a copper theme going on. Let's just see if we can tie a bow around the top of this little guy. for a little bit more fun. Oh! <laughs> I think what I'm going to have to do is put a glue dot on it. <laughs> Did you guys see that? That was pure talent right there. All right. So I'm going to tack a glue dot back here. Then I'm going to put my trim on. And we're going to hope that the trim gets hooked on by the glue dot. 
did it. Oh my goodness, what the heck is going on? Why won't this work? Oh, I wanted it to work so bad. Oh wait, it's just kind of sticking on there. Okay, we're gonna try it again. Because I thought that it would look kind of fun if we could get it to stay. I think it might have worked with that glue dot right there. Okay, so we're gonna tighten that up just a tad. Get that one. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna do our sentiment piece. So here's another one of those little fun labels. And I have two stamps from the set. I guess I could have used my uh, stamp and spots, but here we are. Okay, so this one says beautiful, what does this say? Beautiful inside and out. And we're gonna put this kind of near the top of the tag. All right, and then this other piece says something that I can't remember and I just got ink on my fingers. So hold on, please, while I clean off my messy hands. Jeez. Oh, I see my friend Donna might be watching us. Hello, Donna. Okay. We're going to ink that up and it says, wishing you a happy birthday. And we're going to put this about like so. Ah. That worked out pretty good, if I do say so myself. I'm going to add this with a couple of dimensionals. Okay. Ah, where do I want it? On the top? No, I don't think so. I think I want it underneath. My flower might be in my way. No, it's my project. I can do whatever I want with it, so I'm going to do it like that. Okay, then we're going to snip off the ends of these bands here on the side of the bag. And then I have the last thing I want to do is add a few of these little woven threads sequins. So I'm going to take my glue here and I'm just going to put uh, some, <coughs> excuse me, some tiny dots. Try not to squeeze very hard because this is a brand new glue and if I squeeze really hard it's just going to squirt out all over and I don't want that. Okay. So then I'm going to take my take your pick tool here and I'm going to pick myself up a few of these sequins. I want the dark, the dark blue ones. Okay, and I need another, a large one. Here we go. Put that one over here. Boy, this is a serious uh, card for my friend here. So I hope she likes it. So I'm going to have to make another one so that I can give it away next week. Press those down. And there it is. Oh my gosh. Is that not so pretty? Oh my gosh. I am digging that a lot. Super happy with that one. Okay. Clean this up a little bit. So those are my projects that I have for you guys. Don't forget about my Come Sail Away, Sailing Away uh, or class that's going to be released on Monday. If you are a member of my team, like Royalia and Charlene are, they get all my online classes for free. So I'll be emailing that out to them as soon as it's done. And otherwise, you can purchase it for $20. And I also have that bundle of products that you can purchase. And you can get the class for free if you purchase that bundle, which is... the twine and the little trinkets, the designer series paper, the folder and the bundle. If you purchase all those things from me with my special bundle, I will give you the class for free. If you want that, email it, email me, let me know. I'm happy to uh, send you the PayPal invoice for the class and then I will email everything to you. So I hope you guys enjoyed these projects. I am super in love with the Band Together stamp set and the detailed bands dies. And I hope you guys are too. Remember you can order them in my store at shoppingwithbarb.com. Here's my July host code for gifts with purchase. And I guess I will see you guys next week. Actually, no, next Thursday, I have to, uh, we're having our end of the season swim team party. So I think I'm going to try to go live on Wednesday, which will be the 24th of July. So that's my plan to go the 24th of July instead of Thursday. So I'll post some things on Facebook. So thanks guys for watching, share the video, be entered in the drawing for the cards and um, have a great week. Bye-bye.